Throughout history, secret societies have flourished for diverse purposes. It consists of members having secret initiations or other rituals unique to each society. Perhaps, members might just be walking among us. Probably, it might be that weird next door neighbor or our closest friends we have drinks with. How would we figure it out? They do an impressive job at being unknown. Though we might not know their identities, nevertheless, we know these secret societies exist. Here are the five most mysterious and powerful secret societies. 5. The Knights Templar. The Knights Templar was a religious, military order that was disbanded in 1307. Even 700 years after they disappeared off the face of the earth, we are still fascinated by the Knights Templar, and with good reason. When Christian forces conquered Jerusalem in 1099 after it had been under Muslim control for 450 years, pilgrims began streaming into the Holy Land from all over Western Europe. However, many were attacked and killed as they crossed Muslim lands. As a result, a religious order of knights, the Templars, was established to protect these devout travelers on their perilous journey east. After they were founded, the Templars based themselves at Temple Mont, repurposing the Al-Aqsa Mosque that stood there into their headquarters. That site which was built on the Longon Temple of Solomon gave the order their name, the Fellow Soldiers of Christ and the Temple of Solomon, or Knights Templar for short. The most common symbol of the Templars is the Red Cross on a white banner, the insignia of the order. The red symbolized martyrdom, since dying in combat during a holy war was considered a great honor, and the white represented faith or purity. Historical legend has it that they were dissolved swiftly on no other day than Friday, October 13, 1307. Whether out of retribution or political malice, the true cause is still uncertain. This is still a mystery. They wore white robes. The knights could hold no property and receive no private letters. They could not be married or betrothed and could not have any vow in any other order. They could not have more debt than they could pay and no infirmities. 4. Bilderberg The Bilderberg Conference name comes from the Hotel de Bilderberg, where the first meeting took place in 1954. The secret of Bilderberg Group gathers for its annual meeting this week, which is taking place in Montreux, Switzerland. They are a collective of elite North American and European politicians, business leaders, financiers, and academics. The group has attracted a good deal of suspicion over the last half century, with conspiracy theorists confidently asserting that its members are plotting the new world order and are hell-bent on global domination. The Bilderberg Group's primary goal has reportedly been expanded to take in a more all-encompassing endorsement of Western free market capitalism over the years, although the conspiracy theorists believe their agenda is either to impose pan-global fascism or totalitarian Marxism. While not strictly a secret society, Bilderberg's high-profile attendees, previous guests have included Bill Clinton, Margaret Thatcher, Angela Merkel, Tony Blair, and Henry Kissinger and its use of the Chatham House rule blocking attendees from sharing what happens in meetings gives an air of mystery. Journalists are barred from reporting on it. Meeting minutes are not released. What could their meetings be centered on? 3. The Freemasons National organized Freemasonry began in 1717 with the founding of the Grand Lodge and Association of Masonic Lodges in England. However, Freemason societies have existed for much longer. The most popular theory is that Freemasonry emerged out of the stonemasonry guilds of the Middle Ages. Oliver Cromwell emerges as the founder of Freemasonry in an anonymous anti-Masonic work of 1745, commonly attributed to Abbé Laudon. Today, Freemasons are a social and philanthropic organization meant to make its members lead more virtuous and socially oriented lives. Freemasonry is built upon three basic tenets or principles, brotherly love, relief, and truth. Brotherly love is the practice of the golden rule. Relief embodies charity for all mankind. Truth is honesty, fair play, and adherence to the cardinal virtues of temperance, fortitude, prudence, and justice. The secrets of Freemasonry are the various modes of recognition, grips, handshakes, passwords, and signs, hand gestures, that indicate one is a Freemason. To become a Freemason, the applicant has to be an adult male and must believe in the existence of a supreme being and the immortality of the soul. The teachings of Freemasonry enjoin morality, charity, and obedience to the law of the land. The 2018 guidance states that transgender men are allowed to apply to become Freemasons. No gender inequality here, I guess. 
The square and compass, or, more correctly, a square and a set of compasses joined, is the single most identifiable symbol of Freemasonry. Both the square and compasses are the architect's tools and are used in Masonic rituals as emblems to teach symbolic lessons. Freemasonry is not a religion, though members are encouraged to believe in a supreme being or grand architect of the universe. Masonic temples and secret rituals have brought them into conflict with the Catholic Church. The Church first condemned the Freemasons in 1738 and has gone on to issue around 20 decrees against them. In 1985, Roman Catholic bishops restated over 200 years' worth of these strictures in the face of an increased number of Catholics joining the order. The Church wasn't their only enemy, the secrecy of the Masons garnered distrust. 2. Skull and Bones Skull and Bones were formed in 1832 by William Huntington Russell and Alfonso Taft. According to some accounts, the society was formed after a dispute over elections to Phi Beta Kappa. Skull and Bones, also known as the Order, Order 322, or the Brotherhood of Death. Skull and Bones is a secret society of senior, fourth-year undergraduate, students at Yale University, New Haven, Connecticut, that were founded in 1832. Male society members are called Bonesmen, and many have ascended after graduation to positions of prominence in business or government. Three of them William Howard Taft, George H. W. Bush, and George W. Bush, became U.S. presidents. The emblem of the society is a skull and crossbones with the number 322 beneath it. The number is generally taken to refer to the year, 322 BCE, of the death of the Greek orator Demosthenes, a turning point in the transformation of ancient Athens from democracy to plutocracy. The society's clubhouse is a monumental brownstone building in New Haven called the Tomb. Originally built in 1856, the tomb was doubled in size in 1903 and has since been further enlarged. Skull and Bones are the oldest of several secret societies on the Yale campus. Like most of the others, it chooses 15 new members every spring at a ceremony called Tap Day or Tap Night. Juniors are notified of their selection by a society member, who ritually claps them on the shoulder. Society has always kept its affairs secret, but for many years it publicized its membership roster. Some new members are high-achieving students, while others are descendants of socially prominent families. Even though Yale University has admitted women since 1969, females were not granted membership into Skull and Bones until 1992. Members take an oath of secrecy. Graduate members are referred to as patriarchs, while those undergoing initiations are called knights. Outsiders of the group are barbarians. 1. The Illuminati The Illuminati was founded by Professor Adam Weishaupt in Bavaria on May 1, 1776. The first pledge of the Illuminati is called the Eternal Oath. Weishaupt, chafing at the power of the conservative Catholic Church and the Bavarian monarchy, sought to cast aside organized religion in favor of a new form of illumination through reason. Inspired by the spread of the Enlightenment across Europe, he also drew upon ideas expressed by the Jesuits, he was a former member, the mysteries of the seven sages of Memphis, the Kabbalah, and Freemasons. He recruited heavily from the latter group, infiltrating Masonic lodges in his quest to recruit some of the wealthiest and most influential men in Europe. The Illuminati is a group that supposedly consists of the world's most powerful people. Beyonce and Jay-Z are rumored to be members, along with a host of other celebrities, and the group is said to be behind some of the last century's most historically important events, like the assassination of John F. Kennedy. The Illuminati did plenty of unusual things. They used symbols, like the owl, adopted pseudonyms to avoid identification, and had complicated hierarchies like novice, minorvel, and illuminated minorvel that divided the ranks. In the beginning, Hodap says, Illuminati members didn't trust anyone over 30 because they were too set in their ways. Other reports of rituals are harder to confirm, but we know that members were very paranoid and used spy-like protocol to keep one another's identities secret. Who knows how many celebrities are involved? Illuminati members have dedicated themselves to the advancement of the human species by taking oaths of commitment. These pledges are a core tradition of the Illuminati, formed as written contracts between a single person and all members of humanity.